everybody, and welcome to Kaboom Science, and I'm your host today, Mr. Tim. Today, we are going to be talking about chemical reactions and catalysts. A chemical reaction is when you mix together two or more ingredients or substances, and that mixture, once it's all mixed up together, creates something new. We're also going to be talking about catalysts. Chemical reactions can be really, really slow, or they can be really, really fast depending on which chemicals you're mixing. The chemical reactions that are really, really slow, if you add a catalyst to them, will speed them up. Today we're going to be doing an experiment called elephant toothpaste. Let's get started. Today you're gonna to need a squirt of dish soap, a cup and a half of hydrogen peroxide, one tablespoon of dry active yeast, three tablespoons of warm water and food coloring. You'll also need safety goggles, and gloves to protect your eyes and hands from irritation. Also collect various measuring cups and spoons and beakers and graduated cylinders to perform your chemical reaction in. You'll notice that I rolled up my sleeves, put on some gloves, and put on some safety goggles. That's because today our first ingredient is hydrogen peroxide. Although hydrogen peroxide isn't dangerous, it can definitely irritate your skin and eyes. So make sure you ask a grown up before you start using hydrogen peroxide. To start, we're gonna need a half a cup of hydrogen peroxide. Next, we're gonna need to take our dish soap and add one big squirt to that hydrogen peroxide. Just to give it a little bit of extra color, I'm going to add a couple drops of blue food color. And then I'm going to swirl that all together and pour it into our graduated cylinder. And just like that, we have all of the ingredients we need for our chemical reaction. We want to speed that chemical reaction up. So we're going to add a catalyst. Our catalyst today is going to be activated yeast. I've measured out three tablespoons of water, warm water, to activate the yeast. And I'm going to measure out one tablespoon of yeast inside of that warm water. All right, let's see what happens. Notice all of those bubbles start to form at the top of our experiment and they move slowly towards the top of our graduated cylinder. Pretty soon, there's enough bubbles to actually spill out from the top of our experiment. So what's happening here? Well, hydrogen peroxide is made up of those two ingredients that we've been talking about, water and oxygen. Well, when you add a catalyst to a chemical reaction, it speeds it up. So while your hydrogen peroxide is sitting on a shelf, those two ingredients are slowly separating out. To speed that process up, we've added our dry active yeast. And now the chemical reaction goes very, very quickly. So what was that squirt of soap for? Well, it's really hard to see this chemical reaction happen because the ingredients look so similar. So what we've done is added just a squirt of soap to trap all of that air that's escaping from the top of our chemical reaction. Thank you so much for joining me for online Kaboom Science. I'm Mr. Tim, and I hope you had a lot of fun learning about chemical reactions.